and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the men who stare at sports ball, where we where we are not biased against en against any particular team because we laugh at every single one of them. Some of them more than others, however. <clears throat> I, yeah. am your one, I am your one and only gaming monk, better known as Mildra, and with me I have one, two, three good brothers. Ha ha ha. We have the we have the ma the ma the man from Chicago land and the and the man who and the man who was um too expensive for the McCaskies. Good brother Aaron. We have the least choking man in in the state of in the state of Georgia. Although although congrats on jo congrats on Georgia for exposing Clemson. Good brother Akira. And we and we have the, and we have the we have the man who we have the man who is a who suff, who suffers with the senators. We'll get to that later. Good brother Matty, how are we doing tonight? Yeah. Doing good. Fuck you, fuck you, Melnick. <laughs> Thanks, that, EGA. We'll get to that later. <laughs> I will. I will give. I will, look. Any any time I get to see a a top tier team like Clemson get exposed in college is a good day. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 uh, so 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 Uga hum humbled Clemson. Good. <laughs> now the question is, can they do the same to Alabama? Doubtful. I don't see it happen. I don't see them doing that against Alabama or LSU. But Alabama's basically like the uh, the Manchester U the Man United of 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 uh, college football right now. Everybody loves that team. Yeah. Um. Unfor Unf if you want if you want if you want to know what's a um what would be a good what would be a good football model for when it comes to the greatest losers um I'd look at West Ham United cuz even though they get their ass kicked all the time their fans are always in good spirits about it yeah well, with the whole yeah. oh it's just like how the cubs used to be well they um they even have a chant for the the whole thing you're nothing special we lose every week <laughs> there's also there's also the time that someone bounced that someone brought a um inflatable dick and when it got confiscated they chanted we want our dick back <laughs> like, uh, yeah just but yeah but you know what bama you know what they remind me of they remind me how how you how uh usc used to be yeah Truth be told, I am I am in fa I'm in favor of bringing back the um, BCS and getting rid of this um, C getting rid of the CFB. Uh yeah. Well, C well CFP CFP I think is I think it's how it's supposed to go. The uh, that um that playoff bracket that's barely a bracket. Yeah, really. I mean, at least at least with Mark, because it's you only have four team you only have four teams in the bracket. Unlike say the bracket for March Madness where you've got. Everybody, so you so you've got a lot of surprises that can happen. That's why March Madness is always fun, even if you don't closely follow college basketball. Yeah, I would say you know what? If you make a bowl game, you're you're in you're in you're in the BCS. You're you're if you're in the bowl game and you do do the best out of everyone, you're you're, you're going to be into the you're going to be in the championship game. That that's how it should be. It's but the question is, what could what what bowl game should qualify? That's the question. Yeah, I, the tr I really, I really, do, I really do think, I really do think that there's if you, if I was to bring that kind of thing back, I would separate it between um, ceremonial kind of bowls, like say the egg, like say the egg bowl in um, in Mississippi. No, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna have something like that, it's got you gotta have the originals: Rose Bowl, Sugar Bowl, or, or the, for whatever they call it that nowadays, Orange Bowl, and. Um, no. The Sun Bowl, or whatever they call it, or the Fiesta yeah, Bowl, or whatever saying, the fuck. I'm they saying, put, I'm saying, put those in one category as the A bowls, and the B are for the, are for the more ceremonial ones between old rivals, like the whole thing with um, Mississippi State and Ole Miss. That's what I meant by the yeah. A bowl. Um, ah, and and se and separated between separated between conference between um conferences. And at the very at the very least, by doing that, you might you might be able to force the hand of teams like Notre Dame. Like, I love I love Notre oh, Dame. Oh yeah, join a fucking conference. Yeah, they, yeah, they're they're like the uh, they're 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 like the sell swords of the NCAA. Don't get me wrong, they got 
Uh, Irish is is a hometown team, but come on, he's one of the hometown teams around here. But still, this sword shit's getting old. Um, the exception to this kind of thing is, of course, um, the of course stuff like Army, Navy, and Air Force. Well, of course, of course, they're they're mili- they're like they're like a military they're like military squads basically. So mm-hmm. they they can be cell swords. Yeah, but with but with that in mind. Um, I think it, I think it's high time we get we get into the professional end of um, hand egg, not the quote unquote student athlete end of hand egg. Yeah, not the collegiate shit. So, if there was anything that we learned from to, from twenty from twenty twenty, it's the import it's the importance of an O line. And how, oh and yes, uh, oh no, <laughs> and how, and how um. And and how we've officially we've officially left the um the Star Wars trilogy and are now on the sequel trilogy with the First Order. The, yeah. evil, the evil Empire is gone, but now it looks now it looks like the entire state of Florida is becoming the evil Empire. Yep. All, all, yeah, that's, all that's needed is for the Rays to win the World Series, and then we'll and then they'll have a trifecta. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Florida's the new the new First Order. Not to be confused. We're with fucked. Him. Well, not necessarily. I mean, Tom Brady could break down. <laughs> Ooh, laughter, yeah. terror, absolute fine line. Um, I do. Th- I do think it's. I do think um, things. There's going to be a whole lot. There's going to be a whole lot of intrigue because a lot of a lot of old narratives that we um, that we used to rely on for years are starting to die off. But we do have a few reliable ones. Yeah, the power. Yeah, the powers have shifted in the AF, the AFC East. It's almost pretty much. It's still in the middle. It's still in the midst of it because there's several empires that are that are on the rise. Mm-hmm. The NFC right now, I think. For, for I think it's it's pretty much fucked for now. Oh yeah. Now, when it now. When it comes to so we'll we'll start of course with the AFC with the AFC East and we'll and we'll specifically start with the Buffalo Bills. Oh yeah, one of the big one of the one of these burgeoning empires in, that are forming the the AFC right now. The big dogs. Last year, I like to call the Josh Allen Revenge Tour. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It is it is kind of it is kind of funny that people dismiss Lamar Jackson as being a runner more than. More than a more than a quarterback when um, Josh Allen was v- was very much a high risk gamble as a um, as a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Like you you looked at his you look at his early stuff and it's a case of he could he could really go some it was a case of hot and cold. Sometimes he could really go and sometimes not so much, which was what which was why at the time we had the Buffalo optimism meter, then replaced with <laughs> the Buffalo inebriation meter. Um. But they, but um, compared to the other team in Buffalo, the Bills have very mu- have very much improved. Allen, yeah, I'd I'd say the I'd say the only reason they weren't able they weren't able to get further last year was they had, was in the playoffs. They're they green playing first. Yeah, they are very green because this is the first time they've been in the they've been in the playoffs in about a decade. Um, but there is also the fact that. They di- that they um, played a little bit too conservatively against the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, here's the deal: the Browns almost almost defeated the freaking Chiefs. I thought the Bills was going to go in for the kill, but I think they they showed. I think the Bills showed too much mercy in that game. Yeah, but yeah, also and also playoff nerves, as you said, green in, in the playoff. They're green, department. yeah. That's that's green. That's that's an experience. Hopefully, this, the they're bolstering. That... Their, hopefully, they're bolstering up both offense and defense. Mm-hmm. And uh, those who have stuck around are now okay. Okay, we got a taste. We want to go farther. Yeah. The, yeah. So I don't. I don't think the Bills are going to be this green this time. And I will not be surprised if they make make it back to the Super Bowl since the since the Jim Kelly era. Mm-hmm. No table is going to be safe. I I do I do I do, I am putting some I am putting some degree of faith because um I like I love Stefan Diggs 
And I, yeah. I want to. DM twenty one, twenty two digs. Oh. oh, and guess, and guess who's, guess who's Alan's backup? Who? Kissing titties. You know. Yep. As much as as much as we roasted Kiss and Titties over an open flame when he w- when he was the starter in Chicago, yeah. being a backup, I think w- I think will be much better for him. Plus, it's a change of scenery. Yeah. And All he needs is the one shot to to, to 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 prove to prove that you have two potential starters, and it, it, the the only uh, the only thing they keep that that is the uh, the only difference maker is like what style do you want to play with? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, really. I've al- I've always I always saw I always saw Trubisky as as some as somebody you put in as a backup, not as a starter. And I think oh, he yeah. does that. So as long as as long as he stays in that particular lane, I think he's going to be fine. Yeah, he'll be solid. And I think he'll probably be better coached anyway. Because oh, when we talk about the Bears, I got I that's good that's going to be pretty. Because I'm feeling positive on one end, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Um, yeah. Although, um, truth truth be told, truth be told, I do th- I do think the Bills want want to at least want to at least win one because I don't think they want I don't think they want another year of um, the Bills acronym. Yeah. Also, the tables will be sacrificed. The Dudley Boys are going to participate. Sabu is going to break a couple. Yeah, it's going to be like it's going to be like it's going to be like the ECW arena. No, Sabu's going to oh, yeah. be- no, Sabu's going to miss because he keeps botching. Yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Mm. Or um, or or somebody or somebody's gonna rib him, and we ha- and and he and bringing out a Japanese table. Oh Bring out God! The table! <laughs> so next is the Miami Dolphins. Two years ago, I would have called them the Lolfins, and and laughed at them tanking. I can't do that uh. right now. They're 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 a mid they're a mid tier power right now, but yeah. uh, it's on the wane. But where they go will depend on one factor. Tua Tagovailoa. Yeah, is he a boom? Is he is he everything that he says he is, or is he a bust? Folks, I, I'm taking part. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, uh, NGTTWF, the uh, TikTok Wrestling Federation. A bunch of promo artists doing all that stuff. In the Discord, there's a fantasy football league, and I've taken part in my very first fantasy football league, by the way. Ty finally taken it. I've uh, picked a couple of quarterbacks. One of them's Tua, one, isn't it? Tua, Tua is one of them. Yeah, he was my first pick. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, I, I think it's how, I, again, it's going to be how like Tua, Tua develops. I think it's going to be on the coaching. Should be on the coaching, but it looks like they have the 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 the, the right coaching because up until up until a couple of uh, of unfortunate things, Tua was actually doing okay. Yeah. So, and I have to add up, and I do have Devontae Parker as a uh, as a wide receiver as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, he's, just he's just one just one thing. Yeah. Just one thing, Miami. Just do me this one fever. Keep the Sean Watson out out of Miami. You don't want his drama. Nobody, yeah. nobody wants a media. Nobody wants a media circus. And right, no. right now, um, we'll get we'll get to Wat, we'll get to Watson late. We'll get to Watson later. Talked about the Texans. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So next is the I, Dead Empire. I feel like I feel like I need to hire World's Worst <laughs> Orchestra to do a to do a cover of the Imperial March. No, well, I know, right? Just have a kazoo. Just have um, Edge and Christian do a kazoo version of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, that know, would you know, that the Patriots you know, have a little bit more. You know all these uh, the those ruined star destroyers on Jakku in the Force Awakens. Yeah, that's the Patriots right now. Let's go back to Jakku. Um, I um the thing right now, right now the right now the Patriots are going to be in for a long, long rebuilding period, and yeah. yeah. Now the now we'll say yeah. this. Go ahead. Bill Belichick did, did did a good thing. He he cut Cam Newton. Yeah, I yeah. And contrary to popular belief, it wasn't because Mook the Koof. I think Cam's. I think Cam's. Cam Cam's dusted. He 
He's he's burnt. He's probably, I, I, he's probably a year or so away from retirement. Yeah, yeah. I I I'm of the leaf of, of a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. There are some idiots out there who still think of that the vaccine ain't gonna work because it's placebo or whatever. And he may have caught it, he may not. I get the feeling Bill Belichick looked at the look to cut his losses and looked for any old excuse to to do so. Especially especially since Bill Belichick is not is is known for his ruthless efficiency. Well here's the thing. Actually they, yeah. they had a press conference and they and they asked him about about did you catch a, did you come because of the coof? He basically said, uh uh-uh. uh. He ba- I think he I think he chewed out a I think he chewed out a reporter because of that. Probably, I would not put him. Pa- I would not put that past him one bit, because wouldn't blame him either. But well, Patriots, well, Boston, you had twenty years on top. Time to let someone else have it. You still have the Sox. Yeah, you still have the Red Sox. I still like to believe that the Patriots went down as soon as Nick Folk became part of the team. <laughs> Yeah, Nick Folk ended ended the dynasty. <laughs> oh well, now he's but but he got cut. By the way, yep, he did. He did. Gee, I can't I can't imagine what I can't imagine why. Well, so but Patriots, so, um, you're not you are not getting to the you are not getting to the playoffs. I'm going to tell you that right fucking now. No, oh, hell no. And as, you, and as for you, Nick, that's it. And, and as for you, Nick Folk. Get your bum ass off the field and put your motherfucking head back down. Yeah. Look, New England. Uh, first off, for uh, first off, as as somebody who is at, as somebody who's had to suffer Boston arrogance, the state of the state of your sports teams is like Pornhub material for me. So, <laughs> yeah. Second off, you are going back to the '90s, the post Bledsoe era. Oh, oh, you know what I mean the pre Bledsoe era. Pre Bledsoe, what the hell am I saying? No, 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 no. You know what will be ultimate punishment for him? Oh, remember the remember the early nineties Patriots when when the guy from the guy that had that uh, owned Remington who owned the team. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're going back to that era, era New England. Mm-hmm. So, did he say strap in or strap on? <laughs> So next, we have the New York Jets. Oh, uh, the butt fumble. <laughs> okay, I'm with Tree on this one. They're gonna. This is fault. This is Red Herring City. Butt fumble's gonna butt fumble. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean, on paper, it's boomer bust, but they're gonna bust. It's, it's this is the, the butt Jets. Fumble. It's the fucking Jets. It's the Jets. You, you know what? There is. This is this is sports. There's always a one or two percent chance that it will pay off, and we'll be eating crow at the end of the season. Yeah, but I mean, look at the Browns. Look at the Browns. They were a joke for for for, for decades until until recently. But hey, we'll if they there. can make if they can make it, so can the butt fumble. There are there is, there is a statistical possibility. It's a low fucking possibility, and it's still a butt fumble, but it needs to be acknowledged. For, for at least at least for what it is, yeah. Your um, only chance of butt fumble, though. Yeah, your your only chance of even getting to the payoffs is you got to find a way to close Joe Namath. Uh, you know, what, Monk. All... You know what, Monk. I'd shit on that, but he, he's not wrong. Um, even even with that, I I know that it, I know that it's going to be easy to pick on them because of the whole because of the whole thing with Adam Gase. I I am of I'm of the opinion that if there's if there's anything that was a massive black eye on the Jets as a as an organization, it was the Jamili incident. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So here's your goal for this this season in Jets. Have a better record than the Patriots. Don't fuck up. Or yeah. you can't fuck up and try to give us that one and sixteen record. That you definitely just drop the ball, or or, or or do it do it better. Oh, and seventeen facts. There's a new the, the, the little little wrinkle there. They add a new another game. Yeah, that would make me happy. 
If they go 0-17, oh, God. We'll, Both, they'll, ne- they'll never hear the end of it. We'll be on this show, and as soon as Monk gets to the Jets, all four of us are going to be on the floor laughing for half an hour. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm exaggerating. 15 minutes, but it's going to be dead air and laughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the the, the Jets, there is no, there is no the only way the only way I possibly see them getting into the playoffs is is if they pull a Luigi wins by doing nothing situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that means every team in the AFC East fucks up when with the Bill and with the Bills probably having the lowest possible chance of doing just that. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> I mean, this is a division with the Broncos and and, uh, and the and the Patriots and the and the Bungles and the and the AEW Jaguars. You mean? Oh, you mean the conference? Yeah. Yeah, but when it comes when it comes to the when it comes to the division, um, I doubt th- you'd have to have the Bills and Dolphins fuck, fucking up at the same time. In order- I don't see that. I don't nope, see that. Not either. happening. That's, not that's, happening. That's one. That's one of those magic eight ball kind of moments. Um, yeah. I mean, hey, you never know. F- football's tough. The injuries can happen. Oh, but it, it yep. can happen. But you, but um, you need you need to have a specific set of circumstances happen in the in the exact specific kind of way for that for that. To or happen. or in the or in the case of the Dolphins. Two We're all set for kickoff, and oh, oh, and Dan, it looks like Japanese people are now rushing on it. Yeah, this is not the kind of thing you want happening during. Oh, kickoff. not during kickoff, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that happening. So, I'd say that it's about a ten percent chance. Yeah, let's move for <laughs> let's move on to the AFC West. So yeah. starting out with the Broncos, um, the Denver oh, John Elway, the mean Broncos. Yeah, it's time, for, it's time for me. It's time for me to enjoy the pain, the the pain of um of Brandon Perna. Um, yeah, and um, John Elway. Well, let's just say uh, he's he's yeah he's cry, he's crying in his cores right now because he has his team has to start off Teddy Bridgewater. <sighs> I like Teddy Bridgewater. Hey, don't get me wrong. I like Teddy Bridgewater. It's not an nice Elway clone. Look. No, yeah. I, I'm I'm thinking, you know what? On that particular situation, I'm not going to dump on – I'm not going to dunk on that. that, that, that I like, it's, not, it's not a bad pick. Um, I like Bridgewater, but like I said, Elway would probably rather for Lock start. Oh, he would. He would rather have someone that's, that's why. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm saying he's crying in his cores. He needs to get over himself, Elf Man. You're not going to get Aaron Rodgers for another year here, or or maybe, but uh, so for now, at least Teddy Bridgewater, he's very serviceable. So be happy. Teddy Bridgewater is is average when it comes when it comes yeah. to his output. He's not he's not gonna he's not gonna fuck up, but he's not he's not gonna set the world on fire. Which is why I find I find the choice to have him be the starter to be questionable. Yeah. Like, now, here's the thing with Bridgewater. I just wish this never happened to him. Yeah. Because if that never happened, that guy, that guy would have been a stud. Um, Early days yet. And with with that kind. With that kind of thing in mi- with that kind of thing in mind, um, the re- the big re- the big reason why why f- why I find it um, puzzling is it seem it seems that um, it seems that they're trying to make they were trying they think that they have a um, strong enough a strong enough roster to make a pl- to make a um, playoff run, which, fe- which I feels, don't know about that feels like a very gambler's mentality kind of thing. I don't know about that. You, number Tough one, you, you still got the Chiefs, and you still got you still got the Android Chargers, and you you never know uh, the Raiders might roll the twenty. 
That's and true. Because Raiders are true. The Vegas Raiders are the wild card in, in this division. Really. Yeah. Yeah, just like the just like their 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 city's their city's names sake, they're ba- they're basically the get they're basically the uh they're the Joker card, but we'll get to that later. Oh yeah, but, oh yeah. But so, still, the Broncos. Jokes, hello, Ruby Soho. Welcome to the All Elite uh, Good Team. But uh, mm-hmm. I digress. Yeah. So when it comes, but overall, when it comes to the Broncos, my, my my mindset is I can I can see them I can see. I can possibly see them getting in if enough things go right, uh-huh. but unless but uh, unless it unless it but beyond that beyond that, you better keep sweet talking, Rogers. And He's not wrong, Monk. <laughs> now, and I hope they do. I want him. I want his ass out of my goddamn division. Now, when it comes to the Chiefs, um, they have they have they have they still have a very stacked roster. Yeah, they Here's- got yeah they yeah they were hobbling they were they hobbled their way into the damn Super Bowl. They're lucky the Browns didn't take them out last season. Here is here is the catch though. Have you managed to sufficiently fix your O line? Because that's what lost you the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And number two, how the hell are you gonna? How the hell are you gonna? You gonna? What's your game plan against against the two other rising powers in in the AF in the AFC, being the Browns and the Bills? Especially since um, as much as I love Mahomes, he does he does have a he does have one bad habit that people that scouts are gonna be taking advantage of unless he changes his thing things up. Yeah, he li- he likes to. I talked about this last year, but he likes to hang back. He likes to hang back a bit more. Oh, he has to stay in the pocket. He's a pot. He likes to be a be a pocket passer, right? Yeah, yeah, he 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 is better as a pocket passer. But yeah, he hangs too back, and that does leave him vulnerable. Which is which is the reason wh- which is the reason why um he was completely out of his element in the Super Bowl because. You look at several plays where the, where the own line wasn't protecting him, so he's there running for his running for his life and trying to <laughs> trying to find a read. It's impressive yep. that he was able to find the reads that he did, but it's but um he wouldn't. Have if you're the coaching the staff, you're you're telling him, look, if you if you want to hang back, make sure you're safe for a hang back. Otherwise, stay in the fucking pocket. Yeah. Um. Of course, there's there's also the fact that as the as the as the guy who's getting paid half a billion dollars, everybody's going to be gunning for his head and trying to sack him. Yeah, that's true. Every defense got has has him has him on the top of their shit list. But there is one thing I got to there is one thing I got to say to Kansas City. Why don't you get a virtue signal and get rid of War Paint, idiots? You're gonna get rid of, get rid of the top. Are you going to get rid of the tomahawk chant, chant in the loudest arena in the NFL? They better not. That you, yeah, there'll be there'll be riots. Look, I'm I'm all for tradition, but sometimes sometimes things are things that I got nothing. Let's not go there. Anyway, yeah. I will I will sim- I will simply say, um, the em- I will simply bring up the emperor's new clothes and move on. Now then we get to yeah. the then we get to one final the, one final word about the Chiefs. Go ahead. My message to them. Like I said, you better think of something in the Bills and Browns are coming for you. They are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now when it now next we have the Raiders. Oh, the Gruden Grinders! They uh, the Raiders. Now we gotta. Now we gotta see if they can Gruden grind. Pretty much. Pretty much. And and another thing before we talk about before we talk about the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Looks like Gruden, Gruden got his wish. He got Peter Meme on the team. Will he perform? In- I I hope I for 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 him I hope so. Yep. 
I honestly think nothing's going to change about the Raiders this year. They are, again, they are the joker card of this division. On paper, everything fires, they're a threat. Mm-hmm. But it's the Raiders, so you, you, yeah. you, the only thing we can do is shrug. Yep. Yeah, the and the thing, the thing, the prop, the thing that's frustrating when it comes to predicting the Raiders is the fact that they're they're a team that'll do good, that'll do good one moment, then they'll sit, then they'll end up sucking, then they'll end up doing good again, and then they'll end up sucking again. They're a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, the, yeah, the consistency is not in their business plan. That's why I say they're. I would say not not the Joker card of the division, the Joker card of the AFC, because it's like, are, will they do good this season or will they do bad this season? It's like it's like you're gonna, you're playing. It's like a game of it's like playing roulette. Mm-hmm. They're basically a roulette wheel. I mean, it's apropos since they're since they're in Vegas. No, of course, yeah. But I've been hearing they've been having some financial issues though. Which isn't too surprising, give, given given the length that they had to that they had to go just to um, escape Oakland, just to get just to get out of just to get out of Oakland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's that that stadium ain't that stadium in Vegas ain't cheap. So oh, I think they try to get that WWE money for SummerSlam. Yeah, WWE shit. Maybe hell, get make a make a deal with AEW or any of the wrestling. Or any of the wrestling comes. I don't think WWE is going to be an option at this point. Um, That's another story for another other day, yeah. of course. But you better do something because if I got a feeling that the organization is probably about, is probably going to turn probably going to turn on on a on, uh, on old on old bowl cut there. Mm-hmm. Um, the big the obvious. Obviously, uh, anybody who, I know that I know that some diehards are are are, think, are thinking that we might see the return of the black hole. Keep dreaming. Like, I, no, I, no. I, I appreciate as long your as passion, Mar- but uh, no. here's the problem: that as long as Bull cuts a helm in the team, good luck. He's not his father in his prime. I should add, because his father is prime. He was one of the best owners in the league. But John Madden, that's all I'm going to say. That's true. Uh, are, are any of you familiar with the story of the Holy Roller? The, mo- the most brilliantly stupid play? <laughs> Shit, I've heard of I've heard of the st- I've heard of the Holy Roller, but uh, I didn't know I don't know the details of that one. Um this was this was a this was during this was during the Madden era. This was a oh. um, Raiders Chargers game, and you've got you've got sec you've got seconds left, and you've got one you've got they had one play left. They need they need they need one t- they need one touchdown in order in order to win it out. So the the plan the plan basically was to to um to get to um basically basically fake a fake a fumble where you're where. It's a, where the ball gets fumbled. You pick it up and you th- and you toss the thing forward as you're trying to pick it up. So the next okay. guy does it and keeps going until you go all the way to the end zone. Oh, so basically, yeah. So basically, they keep do the fu- so they basically keep doing the fumble ruski over and over and over. Yes, it is. Oh my god, hell. it is dumb as hell. They managed to get away with it because there wasn't a rule for it at the time. And immediately afterwards, the N- the NFL set the NFL stepped in and said. No, you you can't do that. And if um, whoever whoever ends up whoever whoever ends up picking the ball f- up first after a fumble, um, that that it, after that it's considered it's a dead ball. It's considered a dead ball. Yeah. So so that so they not only got rid of that holy roller, they 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 just out all flat out out got rid of the fumble ruski. It's it's one of it's one of those glo- it's one of those gloriously stupid kind of plays like the kind did of it play work? You'd see it did it work? Play. Oh, it worked. They made they managed to get it. They managed to get a touchdown out of it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the other ball coach said, "Wait a minute, they can't do that." There technically wasn't a rule against it at the time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, yeah. They they basically they basically won on a technicality. 
Hey, technically correct is the best kind of correct. But then we get to pain. Yep. The diamond dogs. And no, no, charges, no. To the to the point where I'm I'm pretty sh I'm I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure that the um the theme music for the Chargers should be pain theme from Naruto because that's all they know is pain. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I'll give you, you this. Know? You got rid you got rid you got rid of the you got rid of your co your coach who was causing you so much trouble with with um clock management last year. Mm -hmm. Since the big pr the big problem that you had was the fact that you had, that you had s that I I'd, I'd say about two thirds of the games that they that they lost last season were lost but were lost by one scoring moment. Oh God! That's I can't I can't say it's I, it's not a case of Atlanta level choking. It's a it's a case of of ch of um just. Pain, just painful losses repeatedly. Yeah. And Charger's gonna charge her. Um, yeah. I, the San Diego curse lives on. Yeah. And when it comes when it comes to when it comes to the, there's also there's also the fact that I'm not sure if there's been any resolution when it comes to the family drama with the Spanos family. Also. Uh oh. Be, um. Since that since that was a bit of a thing that was brought that was brought up during the draft, I don't know if it I don't know if it's still going on, but it is some, it is something to note, and it could. Oh God! And, if if it, if this results in Dean getting ousted, good. I think the only way for I think the only way you're going to see him ousted is is if we is if we have another Don Sterling moment, which I don't see that happening. Well, I'll just I'll just go sacrifice a few goats and hope it happens. Oh. Um, but since but since this is the ch since this is the Chargers, one, you're not you are not sniffing the postseason, and nope. two, in the eh, as is tradition, fuck you, Spanos. Fuck you, Spanos. Fuck you, Spanos. Fuck you. So, next we have in the AFC North, we have the Ravens, and um, question mark. Yeah. I, yeah, they have they have the tool they have the tools that they need, especially even more of them now that um now that they've got Le now that they have Le'Veon Bell. Oh shit! That w that dropped that dropped on me earlier earlier today. Oh wow! Um, that, their game against the Steelers is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Um, now, good because good Le'Veon Bell. That's a game changer. Cancer of Le'Veon Bell, on the other hand. Oh, bad idea. Bell, has, Bell really hasn't all hasn't been all that cancerous since he got out of Pittsburgh. Like That's I said true. before, I feel like Pittsburgh has a culture problem, but we'll get we'll I get to so. that in a bit. Yeah. When it but when the it, yeah the Ravens, it's it's gonna depend on one thing. It's gonna live and die by Lamar. The the Ravens last year were desperate when it came to receiving help, and the and that is that is something that they that they need to that they need to address, and I th I think they're trying to given the moves that they made in the draft. Yeah, I do. Do I see them getting into the playoffs? Yes. Do I Definitely. see them getting far? That no. question mark comes in. Yeah. 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 That yeah. Browns are hungry. If they can get past the Browns, then maybe they'll have a shot. At the bet, at the highest that I see them going is lo is losing in the conference championship. Yeah. Oh. But like, so if I if I was Baltimore, I would be. You better make sure that that Lamar go goes to the bathroom before each game. Either that, either that or, have, or give him a diet of give him a um, diet of Chipotle every week. Yep, Chipotle and two cups of coffee. Yeah, maybe some or or failing that X lax. Bingo. Actually, you want you want to make it really worse. What? <clears throat> On the first day of science class, my teacher gave to me 
a flask full of phenothaline. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the that stuff will fuck you up. <laughs> Woo we um, I'll be in and out all day. Yeah. <laughs> but next we have The Bungles. The, the the worst the worst thing to come out of it to Cincinnati is an Cincinnati is a gr- is a great town. And I yeah, do, love, but the, love their chili, love their their wings. But the um, John Moxley's from there, and that 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 match against Minoru Suzuki tomorrow is going to be bomb. Mm-hmm. Oh God! But oh, he, he knows. <laughs> but the but the but, but um the fan base for the and they have a they have a passionate fan base in Cincinnati, but they have a problem. It's just their owners are cheapskate. Their owners are cheapskate, and they're not holding him accountable. Oh God! Whoops! Say it with me. Oh wait! Oh! oh. The, the Bengals bu- suck. The we, know. we know. So, when it comes when it comes to the when it comes to the Bungles, one, they're going to be a doormat. Oh uh, yeah. This year because they have they still have to pay for the, they still have to pay for the sins of killing Joe Burrow last year. I do yeah. not think he's going to be well. He's going to be well enough for um for for a good for a good chunk of this for a good chunk of the season. And when he Poor there, ass bastard. Yeah. AFC, yeah, they're gonna be the they're gonna be the jabronis of the AFC North this season, as they usually are. You know, I know that I know that I've I know that I've done the whole "fuck you, I was right" plenty of times, but I don't like lo- sometimes I don't like being right. And up yeah, until, throughout throughout the throughout the entirety of the 2020 draft, I kept I kept say I kept saying it's highly likely that the Bungles are gonna tr- are gonna draft Joe Burrow. Especially, and they're gonna given, destroy especially, him. especially given how well he did out of LSU, and I'm sitting there going, "Burrow, you have the option to pull the Elway maneuver." He was drafted. He was drafted by the Colts. He told the Colts to fuck off. I'm going to Denver. We know, and we know you d- just because you get drafted by a team doesn't necessarily mean you have to go there. Please, for the love of God, don't go to the Bungles. They will kill you. He went to the hey. Bungles, and they're in the process of fucking him up. Yeah, he's injured like motherfucker right now. He got, he got, his knee got palmered. That's not something Ooh. you recover from all that quickly. Yeah, and not only, and not only that, and not only that, that that O line is still a fucking turnstile. Which, as as we've established before, if you don't have a decent O line in today's NFL, you're not going to last. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. So before we move on. Oh, I Will will the Bungles make the playoffs? Hell Who the fuck no! Oh hell no! Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, although, although if I was going to use will the Browns make the playoffs, I would have gone with who knows because if the if the Raider if the Raiders are the wild card of the NFC West, the the wild card of the NFC. Uh, not AFC, not AFC. What am I saying? AFC West. The Browns are the wild card of the AFC North. No, I don't. I don't think you're going to sell me on that one. I think they're going to win. I think they're going to win that division. I do think that they're going to win. I do think that um, they're either they're either going to win or they're going to get wild or they're going to get wild card in that in that division. Um, if if the if the Ravens if the Ravens still have receiving trouble. The Browns are get, the Browns are getting it. If they don't, I don't think they're going to go far. But it, but they are going to be in the playoff pest for the next few years. Oh yeah, just remember, they were they were they were they were fairies far away from the conference final. There's also there's also the fact that if we learned any if we learned anything from from last year, don't sleep on your opponent. Oh yeah. Yep. So as for the Browns, at least they got they got most of their guys back. I heard uh is isn't OBJ gonna be playing playing this season? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well he better he better have bring his A game then. Especially 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 given how well they did without him. That's that's go that's um that's that's going to really hurt his leverage if he wants to ask for more money. That's true. And like I said, not only that, they they, they gave Chubb they backed up the Brinks truck for Chubb. 
Oh, yeah. So that that run that running ten is gonna is still gonna gonna run rough shadow o- over every defense that's in the league. But it comes to, but what it comes down to, in my opinion, pastry chef Baker Mayfield. Will he will he soar? Because I think they they did fix a couple defense and O line issues over the, in the off season, I believe. So it comes down to Baker. I think he'll pull it off. I think I hope so too, man. Mm-hmm. What? Who's baking? <laughs> this isn't. It's not Jameis here. Oh, he's maybe a baker, maybe a pastry chef, but that, but he's not Jameis. Call, call me uh, call me splitting uh, splitting the bet on this one. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. Yeah. Fair but enough. Like I, but like I said, the Browns, in my opinion, they're they're the they're one of the three major in my opinion, one of the three major powers in the AFC. Mm. If everything goes right for them, yeah, I see I see conference final in their future, maybe Super Bowl. Yeah. But next we next we Just have... one last thing. Oh, go ahead. Just one last thing. I just hope. I just hope they. It doesn't. I just hope whatever happens to them didn't happen. I just want to hope. I just hope. Hope it won't be a repeat of '86. You remember Jeez. that fucking season? The fucking drive. Oh yeah. Oh, it better. Your season better not end like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, if it does end up that way, bring bottles. Oh yeah, there there will be a lot of drinking that day. No, I'm I'm saying I'm saying bring I'm saying bring bottles into the dog pound. Oh yeah, Bottle Gate 2.0. Look at as bad be- look as bad as that situation was on all on all involved. Let's not act like that wouldn't have happened anywhere else. Yeah, exactly. Especially if the Browns and Bills play each other in the conference fight, which I hoped happened last year. Oh my God! No table will be safe, and then you have the dog pound. Oh Jesus Christ! But then we get to the then we get to the other team that I that I think does not have a ch- that does not have a chance. They don't have a fairy's fart in the world tonight on Days of Our Steelers. For you, Tree, he's gonna start that shit up from week two. Oh yeah! Look, you. You are re- you are not only re-signing but extending Big Ben, Captain Fat Fuck. What? What? I don't know. I don't know if they're. Ex- I don't know if they're yep. extending, but he is going to be the starter. Captain Fat Fuck. Here's the deal. Yeah, he he turned the clock and went back to his old old self. But I'm sorry. His carriage is about to turn to a pu- his carriage has turned into a pumpkin a lot last season. Mm-hmm. Oh. So why are you paying him all this money? Are you trying to are you trying to participate in the uh, in the Bobby Bonilla challenge? Oh, don't do not do that. Hey, hey, get get with the times. These the it we now have we now have the Chris Davis challenge. Doesn't have the. Doesn't have a good. Doesn't no, have Bobby a Bonilla lasts longer. Um. Yeah, and and, and it, it doesn't have a good ring to it. Also, um, I know, I know, I know that you, I know that you want to keep. Um, look, if um, if T, if TJ Watt goes to one of your division rivals, everyone is going it's to be over. laughing at you. Yeah, yeah. If, if he goes to the Browns or Ravens, oh, whoever gets them, they pre- they pretty much punch their ticket to the conference final. And here's the thing with this, and you know what I think it's fucking up the Steelers, mm-hmm. the culture, the culture is fucking trash. You just corrupted fucking Juju. Last season, my heart fucking broke. Why, Juju? Corvette, Corvette. Thank you. He's another person who ever who everybody's gonna be looking to to um to to hit hard to hit hard, um, hit 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 hard in the season because of that bullshit. And the fact that and the fact that he's unrepented about doing that bullshit. 
Good God Almighty. Why why are you trying to chase TikTok clout, Juju? I mean, you had a you had it looks like you were trying you're trying to this was your season to unfuck yourself and yet you're doing Corvette Corvette on people's logos. This is dumb. But you know what? Aaron? I I, I probably don't I, blame I, Juju. I have the perfect explanation for Juju Smith Schuster. Mark. He is a mark for himself. Oh God. I I think it's part I think part of the reason, I think it's just the the, the locker room culture in, in Pittsburgh. It needs to be fucking fumigated. I think Maybe. Yeah. No. But you know who I play you know who I place most of the blame on this? Mike fucking Tomlin. He hasn't done anything about that shit in his, his entire time in, in coaching the Steelers. What is your fucking problem, Tomlin? Fix this shit. Do you think? Do you think that it's accurate to call, to call to call Tomlin the NFL's version of Dan Bilesma? Yeah, because let me tell you this right now about about Tom, t- Tomlin. You, you, you know the reason why he won't change. Being a being a head coach in Pittsburgh is the ultimate job security. Yeah, and he's he's gonna be he's gonna be sticking around in there for a while. But um, the bit I'd say the big reason why I don't, why I don't see them going anywhere is is the is the play is the play calling that they that they had in the play in against the Browns. Oh if I did a my drink god! Out of the number of of the number of shotgun formations they were doing. I'd probably I'd probably be dead. Yeah, it's the same play over and over and over and over again. The and unfortunately for for them, the Browns saw it. It's like, okay, it's time. Okay, assume the position. Mm-hmm. So you e- you either bl- so this I look at the Steelers the same the same way I look at the Penguins. This is your last chance to do something before before you have to blow it up. Fuck that! They need to blow it up yesterday. What he after, said after after what happened with the fucking Browns? That's it. Put take the L out of Lover. It's over, brother. Now, when it comes to the AFC South, first off, we have to deal with the, oh, city the most that boring still, league that is still get that is still getting bled out by the succubus. Oh God. You got rid of Bill O'Brien. That's the good news. But the bad news is now you gotta now you gotta pay for his sins. Mm-hmm. And look, what, up and I um in this pick a side world, there's obviously the question of of what side what side we here in the temple should be on when it comes to Deshaun Watson. That is the side the side we're on is we want nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah, that guy that guy's a cancer. Ten foot poles. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go so far as to to say to say to say cancer, but I am going to say um, he's radi- he's radioactive right now, and nobody wants to get dragged down into a media circus. Yeah. No shit. Like I said, if he can prove his innocence, fine. But if but until but until then, in 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 this in this guilty e e. If you're, unless you're proven innocent, but then again, even if you're proven innocent, you're still you're still guilty in the eyes of of these of hypersensitive fools. But still, oh my God, I think you better start sit a couple seasons out, Deshaun. Yeah, this the Texans. I see. I see this as an, as another um, doldrums year, and even if even if and the furthest that I can see them even making the playoffs is wild card, and even even that's. Even- um, Kind of a stretch. Yeah, they'll. I don't think they're gonna even sniff the pro season. Um, because it'd be amazing if they did. Let's put it that way. They'll be lucky to get a better. Le- they'll be like. Le- they'll be lucky if they get a better record than the Jaguars. Uh, if they do make the postseason, just don't choke again. I don't, th- I don't they think. Will. Houston can they will. They will. I don't think Houston can handle another choke job. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Now next we have the Colts. Okay, there's there's one there's one thing that uh that that describes the Colts right now. Teacher, teacher, wait, I need to take it. Down. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm letting it hurt. 
Yeah. The Colts, the Colts seem Actually. to have whatever the Colts seem to have whatever the whatever the Niners had last year. Yep. Except it's not leg yet. Technically, it's feet. They have the agony of the feet. Well, given how given how many people are out with are out with foot injuries, yeah. Yeah. But First off, Carson Wentz. Oof. This Better hope you, you get Big Dick up. Nick. This is what you get for pigeon towing all the time. Hey yo. I think this during the ten toes down challenge, that's for sure. Yeah. So I you know what I think it is? Coaching. I think I if you got all these pe all these guys with fucking foot injuries, either your medical staff sucks or your coaching staff is being profligate. I hope I hope this isn't gonna be a situation where there's a bunch of um NFL a bunch of NFL PA um, complaints. Oh God! And I think, and the and I think the Colts have a history of those. Why well, do you think Elway wanted to go to Denver? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. I do. I if they can. If oh, they can... someone did. Someone break into. The, someone broke their foot again. Mm. No. If they can now, if they can stay healthy, I do. Oh, see another them one. The playoffs. <laughs> If oh, the key, there's another that, one. The key word here is if. Oh, yeah. God damn it! There's another one. <laughs> no. So you know that ambulance from uh from from the early Madden games. Yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna. I have a. Yeah, you might want to bring 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 them out and hope they don't run any anyone else over. Mm -hmm. Now. Next, we have Saxon. Holy shit, that's another one. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the AEW Jaguars. <laughs> it's ironic. The Jaguars are the opposite of all elite. Yeah, really. Okay, con congratu congratulations on get congratulations on getting the number one dr the number one draft pick and having a shit ton of cap space to spend. Yeah. The big the big problem is I still I still feel I still feel like they're going to they're going they're not they're not going to properly season the new the new guy and try and put him out as a starter. Yeah, and who's who's their who's their who's their coach? Wasn't he wasn't he a cow? Wasn't he a, a sort of a college football ball legend or something? He was with some with um, first off there's the question of health issues for him. Second off, he has no experience coaching in the professional level. Yeah, he's no NFL experience. He's he's a he, the guy was a fucking the guy was a the guy was a fucking genius in college football, but NFL's a different animal. This is the this is the reason why um what little fish big pond Col college usually the usually the way this kind of thing works is a a high prospect with college with college football. Gets promoted to a coordinator for a while before they become a head coach. Yeah, whenever not you, not. Whenever you yeah. try and have a um a a college football head coach immediately jump to head coach for um the NFL, it typically it, yeah. backfires. It's not just football; it's any sport. Yup. Look up Tim Floyd. Mm -hmm. Tim Floyd, Chicago Bulls, went directly to head coach from college. Then again, I blame Jerry Krause for that one. That fucking midget. He was a good. He's a good GM, but he was a. He was just a jag. Yeah, uh, good GM, but with with a Napoleon complex. Yeah. Now, with the, with that with that kind of thing in with that kind of thing in mind, um, as far as when it comes to the when it comes to the Jags, um, I see this as a. At best, a building up momentum kind of year. I don't see them going into the playoffs, especially given some of the culture yeah. issues in that team. Yeah, the best, the best, best, uh, the best outcome for for uh, Jaguars right now is you might have a better record than Texas, but than Houston. But let let's put it this way: you're still pay, you're still paying for the sins of Father Coughlin. Mm -hmm. And I get the I get the. Let's not forget that last year, last year was such a shit show for them that the NFLPA was advising people not to go there.
That's how well, much all we I gotta, show, folks. All I gotta say to the all I gotta say to the cons is stick to wrestling. You're better at it. I would yeah, have loved an FC, but I don't know how well they're doing. Yeah. But like I said, at least at least your at least at least your son's good 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 running AEW. Maybe you should take lessons from him. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, he ain't wrong. He is not wrong. Nope. Nah. Also, also, when I tried to look FC London, I ended up getting Forest City London, which is not the team I was looking for. Here's your hard- sign, Monk. There's did your you, sign. Did you, did you get the hardware store? No, I got for I got Forest City London, which is in Canada. Yep. Oh my god. I think that would, yeah, but never mind. Again, there's your sign, Monk. Probably move on. <laughs> Due diligence. Well, anyway, yeah. it was just it was just the wrong wording on a Google search. But last we have the last we have the Titans, um, he- headed headed by headed by our Mongolian Lord and Savior, Derek. Oh, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alongside his sidekick, Julio Jones. Oh yeah, Julio got finally got out of Atlanta. Thank God. I want to mm-hmm. see. I I find I find this particular team set up to be to be intriguing because Julio has talent. It's just it's just that he was mired in Atlanta being well Atlanta. Atlanta. Yep. So the so what's going to be what's going to be interesting is to see how is to see whether whether or not. Um, he act, whether or not he can actually perform actually perform up to up to par, or what or whether or not the moments that I saw out of him were a fluke. Yeah, that that means like just like Win- the Winnipeg Jets, he's got to get the Atlanta stench off him. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a while though, because the big the big prop the big problem with the t- with the Titans is as great as Hen- as King Henry is, they are a little bit dependent on him as far as their identity. Yeah, cause uh, Ryan Tannehill, he's wrote it best. He's got his moments. Don't get me wrong, but Jack and Jill ain't going up to Tannehill all that often. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> now, yeah, can... they'll win the division, but the question is, will you even win a playoff game? But this is who I this is who I see for the division winners in the AFC. Bills, Chiefs, Browns or Browns or Ravens. I'm fifty fifty on that. And Good call. Um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with um, Titans. I would have gone with Colts, but the injury problem is too much of. Too much it, of a it's question. a question mark. It, at that point, at that point, it's it's a flip of a coin. God, God damn it! <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's another foot. There's another foot. Yeah, so, yeah it's pretty much the same. Oh, it's the pinky toe, too. I bumped my... Oh, toe ow, the pinky toe. toe. Not the fucking pinky toe. I bumped ah. out. I'm not kidding. Right now, I got, I got a swollen left pinky toe. It sucks. Oh, Ouch. shit. Oh, god damn. But, yeah, that's my picks here. Bills Bills easily. Chiefs, definitely easy. That that division that division's all, is, is, is top-heavy. The North, I'm gonna say the Browns because I got a bit. I, I got a feeling the Ravens still got some issues, and definitely the Titans because every last, every other, everyone else on the on, in the AFC South South is wrote wrote to shit. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty predictable on that end. Then we get to the more the more the 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 um conference that's more familiar to some of us on the NFC. And we're starting at the top with the NFC East. I mean, NFC least. I mean, NFC Oh, least. yeah. <laughs> now, the question will the NFC least be, will will this divi- will it be tank division again this season? Tank, tank division. division. I mean, Cowboys, Giants, Eagles, Washington football. T- yes. Yes. Yeah, you think it's going to be tank yes. division again? That's an automatic yes. Mm. Yep, that's the safest bet you can make. You're not, you're not get, you're you, you're breaking even no matter what. Yeah, really. 
So yeah, we're just, so here we go. We're gonna start with Dick Boys. Yep. <laughs> once again, how about them is, cowboys? Once again, it's time to ask the billion dollar question. How about them cowboys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know. Is Dak healed yet? Even if he's, yeah, I don't know about Dick. Sid Vicious, you don't heal. You don't heal from that quickly. <laughs> no, I so so, a, so it's a no I, I then, right? That reference. That so so it's a no, right? It's a doubtful. Well, they're they're fucked this season. Um, especially when it comes when it comes to the cow when it comes to the Cowboys. You know how we said that um, Pittsburgh has a culture problem. I am of the yeah. opinion that da- that Dallas has one is Dallas has one as well because I've I've said this before. The Cowboys and the Leafs are analogous to each other when it comes to their respective leagues. Here's the thing. The Cowboys always had a kind of fucking culture problem. You want to know why? Jerry fucking Jones, that's why. It's he's cer- he is certainly a, he is certainly a factor, but I'm I'm not going to compl- I'm not going to com- put it put it all on Jones because because of the fact that at one point he was a, he was a groundbreaker when it came when it came to assembling a team. The I'd say just as big just as big of a problem is is the fact that the fan base keeps puffing their chest every damn year. Oh, their fucking fan base! God and, damn. Um, I'm spe- and I'm specifically calling out probably probably the most punchable man in Dallas, Michael Irvin. <laughs> every every time I hear Michael Irvin speak, he annoys me. Yeah, it's like he, he's basically egging on the crowd. Listen, remember that the, the let's just say uh, the the Cowboys have a very bad history of hiring. It's like the good news is they're not they're not drafting people out of prison like they used <laughs> to do back in the day. But you gotta do something about your fucking fan base. They're start. They're starting to really piss me off. It's it's the I reason mean, it's the reason why it's always a delight to see uh, even even though I don't enjoy his hot takes to see Stephen A. Smith constantly roasting the Cowboys. Yeah, if, if, the nothing, only... else, if nothing else, nothing will change. We will all laugh along with Stephen A. Yeah, even though Stephen A. has been a dumpster fire this year, but you know what? We'll still laugh along with him. You know, I mean that that's pretty much it's, it's, it's the only redeeming quality of him. But as for as as for Cowboys fans, if you play Chicago again, d- don't fucking start fight with our fans. You're gonna get your ass kicked again. You remember you remember that season. You remember that season when the Dallas came came to Soldier Field and their stupid ass fans decided to fight with the with Bears fans and they got and they got rocked. Yeah, that's a good so, that's a good that's a good idea. Get it. Pick a pick a fight with a with a division that's been that's been known as the most as the roughest and the template toughest division since the eighties. Yeah, why do we? Also, yeah, why do you think the NFC North used to be called the Black and Blue Division? Mm-hmm. Also, any any fans still supporting the Cowboys? Thinking we're gonna make it to the Super Bowl? I got a bun for you. Off the weed. Uh, yeah. I'd say they're higher than Moon. I'd say they're higher up than Moon Knight. Oh yeah. Ooh, good reference. Oh, uh, I'll I'll just I'll have to share you what why that reference is in the back of my head. But then mm. we get um the New York Derp. So with apologies to five points. Bald. Bald. Um, five points. Get the plunger ready. You're probably gonna need it. Yeah. Get the plunger, old man. You know how you know. Sorry, how I five said, points. You know how I said the whole the whole last chance thing when it comes to the Steelers. This applies just as well to the to the Giants in general, and even more so to Daniel Jones. Oh, because Danny right Dimes. Now, right now, he has everything you could ask for. There are no more excuses. If he does not deliver now, especially in that New York market, he is going to get roasted over an open flame. Yeah, fucked, fucked is the word. You know, what, you know what the you know what this problem was? The guy's an understudy of Eli. 
So I don't think he's going to – I don't think Ink is going to end well for him. You can't play the Patriots except for 17 games. No. Nope. So when it comes when it comes to now, grant, granted he granted he ended up getting he ended up getting fucked up last year, but um, it's but it's a case. But if am I supposed to feel bad for somebody getting injured? I mean, I do. But on the other hand, right, welcome yeah. to the NFL. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The the bigger thing from the bigger thing for me is I need to see something from Jones. Other otherwise. That otherwise, this is otherwise he's fuck fuck the whole thing about whether or not Tua is is going to be a bust. People should be asking about whether or not Daniel Jones is a bust. Yeah, yeah I that's think, the but, bigger question. I think he's he is. Because, I mean, I at least I got faith in Tua. I have zero faith in this guy. He's basically an Eli Manning clone, except except the good parts. There's also there's also the fact that ap- apparently it, all it took was one performance at the su- at the Senior Bowl for him for him to get on New York's ra- get on New York's radar from a high school that from, not from a high school but from a college that is better known for producing good basketball players than good um, football players. Well, look at it this way: at least he didn't come from Bishop Sycamore. <laughs> from who? Bishop Sycamore. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Schrodinger's High School. <laughs> but then we then we get to the Eagles. <sighs> the Eagles. Now the question. Now I think I think we gotta ask the question: Will we get? Will we get? Will we get a? Ha- will we get a, a a happy Liz, or are we gonna get a pissed off Liz, or are we gonna get a sad Liz? <sighs> Cry, and hope- eagles cry on the road to misery. <laughs> sigh, eagles sigh. Blow the big games one, two, three. Miss them low, loft them high as we watch our eagles die. Bye, eagles, bye. Bridesmaids of the NFC. G G L E S N O F. Now, here's the thing. If we get a happy Liz and they somehow win this tank division, you know that uh, that 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 uh, that that Triforce harness that that she was post posing a few months back. Yeah. She better be wearing that with with green paint. So when it com- when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to the Eagles. They put. They put. Uh, I. I am. I am honestly of the opinion that they. They need. They need to start shuffling around some chairs when it comes to their coaching. They oh, have. Yeah. They have the. They have the roster to at least perform. I don't know about. Going, yeah. I don't know about going to the playoffs, but they can at least go. It's. The, it's the coaching that. It's the coaching that's the issue. Because. Yeah. Um. The big. Re- the big reason. What the big reason why. Um. Why Carson Wentz ended up becoming a problem was in part the fa- in part the fact that the coaching staff didn't try and wean out some of his bad habits when it came to playing mm-hmm. hero ball. Oh yeah, and the whole um, I should exp- I should explain what I mean by um pigeon towing, and I will I will note that guys like Brett Coleman and um the QB school do explain this much better than I can, but God damn it, and it's- that's what happens if you pigeon tow. But here, here's the thing: when you're th- when you're throwing, you should have your toe pointing where you're going to be throwing, like your whole your whole foot should be in that direction. Whenever it and the, and the and the there is the math to prove this, but Wentz has this habit where he'll ha- where he'll have his foot um fifteen deg- fifteen degrees off. Oh yeah, they're trying to trying to think of they'll think of they'll throw off the uh the, their de- their defense. Problem is that that doesn't that doesn't help throw off the deep hits. You know what happens? That happens. Yeah. And of course, there's there's all there's also the whole thing of to explain what hero ball is. It's base it's basically where you it's basically where you, where you end up doing um deep ball and hope and hoping one of your receivers can catch your mistake. 
it yep. is, it is the definition of high risk. Yeah, I I know the I know the whole concept of hero ball. Cutler used to do this shit all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but but now when it the big the big problem the big problem with um with the Eagles is vast is vast inconsistency. Mm-hmm. My my whole thing is if they end up making the playoffs, I see them as a first round exit. I agree. I can. I, I think that. But here's the thing. Yeah, I think they'll escape tank division. But uh, so, in other words, uh, if they do, I'm gonna I'm gonna post on Liz Finnegan with that with that Zelda harness and and some and some green face paint, mm-hmm. and maybe and maybe some pointy ears. But next we have hail to the Deadskins. Hail to the Deadskins! <laughs> I know, Hail to the Deadskins! Yes, I, I know you're. I know they're supposed. To, I know they're supposed to be called the Washington Football Team, but uh, or the name redacted. But still, they're the Deadskins because I have a feeling the only reason they haven't come up with a new name is because he's waiting for all this woke crap to pass. Us. Okay, that shit's done. Back to the Deadskins. Um, the only re- the only reason he ended up he ended up giving in is because is because the sponsors threatened the poll specifically. Oh Pepsi. yeah. And yeah, so he's just he's just waiting them he's just waiting them out as of, as of right now. Now, what is smart? The th- to be qu- to be quite honest, the only reason the only reason the the only reason Washington made the playoffs last year, it is um, I'd I'd say it, I'd say it's the it's the it's the equivalent of of a back ender in NASCAR managing to managing to. Managing to um actually win a actually win a race simply because everybody else wrecked. Exactly. It, yeah, it, yeah, you won by default. Mm-hmm. My only thought on, on the Washington football team are the following, uh, Mr. Kingston, Mr. Kingston, please, please. Retain these nuts. Wow. That's all I can think of the team. I'm like at this point, fuck them. As a, as a bit of an aside, did you did you happen to see what um, CJ had had said in response to the whole? Your oh, I see. I have seen Miro's tweet, and CJ decided to chef's kiss. Mwah. I don't get it. I didn't. I didn't see that. Are, she to quote CJ Perry on uh, Twitter, the lawn, Lana uh, on on uh, Twitter. Yeah, I know. I know. I know CJ yeah. Perry. Is. Uh, Miro says. Uh, Mad King, consider your nuts redeemed in response to the to the button. And um, CJ quote tweets it says, "I'll redeem yours later, <laughs> if you know what I mean." And I think <laughs> you <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah, he, did, 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 did he did he lose? By the way, uh, no, uh, actually, uh, <laughs> Euro and still, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was about to say, in a, he, hell, of a, if in he, a hell of an opener, by the way. These guys knock lumps off each other. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I don't see that feuding anytime soon, but still, I was about to say, I didn't, sadly, I did not see all out. I was at work, but I would, I was about to say, if they did lost, if he did lose that, uh, if he did lose that, that freaking, freaking belt, at least he, at least he got the consolation prize, his wife. Well, now he now now he won and get and get and gets and gets the better. He's got his wife. He's got his belt and his wife and his cake too. Mm-hmm. So now the so now the que- so now the question is: Will C.J. Perry come to AEW as his valet? Doubt it. I don't know. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit his. It wouldn't fit his current character. It wouldn't fit his gimmick. Well, unless well, there is a way you can do that. Like uh, she'd be like one of she'd be like 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 come come out as like some sort of uh. Some sort of devotee wearing like a habit or something. Uh, that's that's just that's just Rails. my that's just that's yeah yeah rails. The big first off, um, I'm not sure if you heard hey. about this. I only found out about this a few hours a few hours before I left work. But um, one of the play, one of the players in um in Washington um got bu- got bu- got busted on insurance fraud. 
Oh, that's federal. Fu that's a federal crime, isn't it? Yo. Yep. Let me let me see if I, let me see if I can. It's not <laughs> Okay, for okay, I, sh I should say former, just to just to clarify, Clinton Portis. Oh, he was a is, former player. Okay, never mind. Clinton Clinton Portis, along with along with a few others, got bu got busted for healthcare fraud and maybe getting ten years. So healthcare fraud. What did what did he do? Did he do did he, did he, uh, did he participate in the Saints Row challenge? And I'm talking old school Saints Row, not this reboot shit. Um. Basic, basically, basically, um, they ended up they ended up ex they ended up exploiting a loophole when it came to when it came to the um, came to came to the reti came to the retired um retirement pension. Oh. Um, Uch Uch explains it a lot better than I can, but the but the fact of the matter is he was dipping into other people's pot. Oh, bad! I oh oh that. So basically, he's doing a low a. Uh, a, a low um a low yield old version of uh Bernie Madoff. That good. No. Now when it comes when it comes to Washington, <clears throat> the only way that they're getting in is it is if is if everybody else fucks up. Because they unfortunately well, have um the you have you have a situation like you like you do in Arizona where there's more drama off the field than there is on it. Here's the deal with with the tank division. You well, I think the Cowboys and Giants they're gonna crash and burn because I don't see Danny Dimes. I'm just cutting the mustard. And the Cowboys, well, no Dak, no division win. Mm -hmm. You better hope that you better hope the e you better hope the Eagles old old cr crash land and and piss off Liz Finnegan. Otherwise, you're not sniffing the playoffs. Now, next we get to the NFC West. Oh boy! And we start. We start off with the Cardinals. There, yeah. Here's the here's the deal about the Cardinals. Remember, I said that the Raiders were the Joker card of the AFC. Cardinals play this. Cardinals play this. Uh, this role as well. They're the Joker card here. Pretty pretty much the. I I can't help I can't help but get the feeling that within their division their the um highest that they can aspire to is mediocrity. Yeah. Um I do again it it all it all comes back to whether or not they can keep, they can stay healthy. If they can stay healthy, they'll probably go far, but I don't see them having a deep run. Yeah, they, I mean they Yeah, you got I mean st I mean they their quarterback still good. Kyler, are you smarter than a fifth grader, Murray? Um, I do. Feel, <laughs> if there's one person I do feel bad for, simply because he deserved so much better, it's um Larry Legend. Oh my God! Because mm. yeah. why are you going through this pain, my man? Especially, especially given the fact that he is an absolute class act. Um, but him. And there's all there's also the other reason I don't have high hopes when it comes to the Cardinals is um, Fitz is on his way out. It's clear. It's clear. It is. Yeah. Very, it is very clear that he's winding hey. down. Well, um, Larry, there is still time to get a trade to the Buccaneers and win yourself a ring. <laughs> <laughs> At least go out with some damn dignity. Now, next we have the Rams. And, oh um, boy, the one-hit wonders. I'll be I'll be honest. I don't see I don't see them go. I get I get the feeling that they are going to be paying for the for that um spending spree they went on on their last Super Bowl run. They're still paying for the sins of that. And number two, I still ha I don't care if he's out of out of Detroit. I still don't trust Dad Padford. No, I I don't either. And grant granted, um, there's there's also there's also the there's also the fact that um, that the best th the best thing that happened to Todd Gurley was getting out of there. <laughs> like, oh, and bef so when 
it comes when it comes to the Rams, I see them making the playoffs again, but I don't see. But I one see and them, done. I see them embarrassing themselves again. One and done, and and well deserved. Fuck you, Cronky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. St. Louis will be laughing at them again. Good, and they have a Stanley Cup. You know, a championship, That's true. unlike That's the Rams. True. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, next we have the 49ers, and you know, you remember what I said about the Colts? Applies here, because the only reason that they didn't go anywhere last year was because everybody got injured. And I do yep. mean fucking everybody. Even their He's ears. not kidding. Wait, I need you to take it. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm laying it hurt. Hey. Even the fucking EMTs got hurt. God damn it, the EMTs! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the ambulance ain't gonna run over anybody. Their me- their medical oh, truck, no their medical oh, truck had, a- had had car troubles. What? There's another one. Oh, that fan of the fifth row! God damn it! Oh wait a minute! Oh shit! Not not the not not the ambulance! Not the ambulance! Um, Flat tire. Oh my god! Maddie, All aboard, Maddie. Do you, rem- do you remember? Do you remember that moment in The Simpsons when um, Homer tried to jump sh- Simpsons go- um, Springfield Gorge? Oh god! Oh my god! Yeah, who doesn't remember that? Oh and, my god! And what? Ha- and what happened with the a- when he got carried out by the helicopter and the ambulance? Yup. That was the 49ers last year. Yup. So, hopefully they've gotten better, but it, but um, even with that, you're still gonna have the rust because because they're yeah. because the first thing that they're do that you've got a lot of people doing as they're getting better is going straight to practice. Yeah, conditioning conditioning's gonna be the order of the day in every practice. So. Next we have the next we have the Seahawks. Um, Flutter, if you're listening, I'd say I, I'd say I apologize, but I don't, but I don't because um, Gordon Ramsay is still cursing you guys out. Oh, <laughs> what did the Seahawks do to Gordon Ramsay? They let Russ cook, and he was cooked. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I'm a cooked, you donkey! Look, Russ. I re- I I realize I realize that I, I realize that you have the, that you have the um you have the loudness of 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 C- of Seattle on, of Seattle in your favor, but yeah, um, the twelve. You're you're not that good. You j- you you keep me ma- and you keep making mis- and you keep making mistakes. So as far as as far as I'm concerned, give me your jacket and fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, see, yeah. Here's the deal with the Seahawks. Yeah, you'll win the division, but are you gonna get far? Doubtful. Mm-hmm. Now, when it com- when it comes to when it comes like when it comes to when it comes to the Seahawks, it I'd pref- I'd prefer they actually get eliminated simply so they don't embarrass themselves again. Please God. There's only so much pain that a fan base can deal with. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying to this, listen, Seahawks, why don't you sit this out out this season, okay? Come on, let the Cardinals win, all right? They deserve it. Mm-hmm. Um, now next we next we get to our to our our particular uh, that was the black and blue division. Yep. <laughs> so at the top, we unfortunately have the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Matt Nagy. This is your last chance saloon. You got everything you wanted in the off season. You fuck up into Lake Michigan, you go. There is one question I gotta ask. Why'd you gotta bring in Andy Dalton? He sucks. Oh. If you think Andy Dalton is going is going to be a is is going to be the penance for for wasting a top dra- top draft pick for kissing titties, not really. Andy Dalton's well, at best average. 
Yeah, here's the th yeah, and here's the thing with well, you know what I did, you know what it is. He's basically filling the seat for Fields. Mm -hmm. That's all he's doing. Fields, he's gonna have more hope for, but it's oh yes, I like th I like that kid. But it's gonna come down to coaching. If if because Fields, he's got that natural eye. If he's developed right, that kid's gonna be a star. The Bears are gonna have their first bona fide franchise quarterback in their entire fucking history. Now, I mean, Jim McMahon was the closest one, but that that's because you had sweetness and a fucking damn good defense. Mm -hmm. Speaking speaking of that, I do think that I do think that Khalil Mack will still be will still be able to perform. Yeah. Got oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. By the way, Vegas, you ain't getting them back. <laughs> nice try. Wait, Just wait. like Nick Suzuki. Wait, did they tr did they did they try to get Khalil Mack back? Yep, <laughs> they're not buying it because it. Well, the Bears did some good shit 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 in their off season. You bolstered you bolstered their O line. I mean, Tevin Jenkins, he's solid, but here's the problem. His back's injured. Spinal. He's gonna so they can't so he won't be starting for another few weeks. Mm -hmm. But the good news is at least you fixed your goddamn O line. I mean, this, this is the first time in God knows how long. I keep saying how long have I been saying saying to the Bears, fix your O line, fix your O line, fix your O line. Almost twenty years going all the way back to their, their Super Bowl run with, with Rex Grossman. Mm -hmm. With Rex Grossman and Erlocker. You finally fixed your fucking O line. That's something. Now the question here is: Have you learned anything from your play calling, Nagy? Because if you haven't, you're gone. Now there is something else that I've been hearing. You remember? Remember I said that Virginia McCaskey doesn't want to sell. Has that position changed? No. But there's so, but if but it look but there's there's any implication if she kicks the bucket, they're selling. So we don't have to we won't have to suffer from the McCaskies much longer. I just hope they don't go to another stupid owner. I mean, I mean it's either yeah I mean I mean are we gonna get another are we gonna get another uh, Bill Wurtz or are we gonna get are we gonna get the Ricketts family? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Schrodinger's owner at that point. Schrodinger's owner, exactly. I do see. I, I um, I do see them enter. I do see them getting in the playoffs, but there's a lot of question marks as far as how far they're going to go. Yeah, I don't see them going far. I mean, I think. I think if if all goes well, Justin Fields going to get rookie of the offensive rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. But I can see that. There's no way they're getting past that past the Packers, even though Roger wants. Rogers wants out. Which, before we get into that, let's get into Detroit. Oh, boy. This is the the siren call of every of every player that ends up getting drafted by the Lions. No, no, not Detroit. No, no <laughs> a fate worse than death. Oh yeah. As we've as we've said plenty of times, Detroit, you are nothing. You have been nothing for years. You will continue to be nothing. Jared Goff is not going to save your your shit team. And you're going to stay in the basement. Yeah, if there's if I'm actually I'm actually glad that who that the that um they that they cannot ruin a, they cannot ruin another highly paid um QB. Well, like I said, that's the good news. At least Stat Padford's free from that place, but I think the damage is done. The dam the damage maybe if if um I can guarantee I can guarantee he's probably not going to take as much punishment as he did last year. That's true. Cuz and some and we've seen we've seen plenty of times where a change of scenery is what is what a um athlete actually needs. Uh -huh. But as far as the as far as the Lions go, they they're not they're not going anywhere unless unless the 
even if they end up getting into wild card, that wouldn't that would involve everybody else sucking, and I don't see that happening. Yeah, Good point, even Lamar. The, yeah, even the Bears at their worst, they're not gonna fucking go completely completely tits up. Mm-hmm. And the Packers, uh, well, um, that depends if Rodgers decide to be a big baby and sit in the fucking sidelines. Speaking of which, oh, oh yeah, now, yeah. Now it's, time, it's time for it's time for the it's time for the cheeseheads. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, the beggars. Sorry, beggars. I got, well, you joke out. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. This week on the Young and the Packers. Ooh. The big story with the Packers is all the fucking drama with fucking Rodgers. Oh yeah. He's playing he's playing uh he's partaking in the Brett Favre challenge. Oh. Which is which is which is quite apropos because it's this is the same because this is the same shit that happened to Brett Favre. And and Rodgers was the beneficiary. Why the how my how the tables have turned. And when it comes when it comes to when it comes to this whole, when it comes to this whole thing with Rodgers, let's let's be honest. I um I I don't I don't think he I don't think he had any in, I don't think he had any intention of getting out of Green Bay. He just he just wanted to see how far he could make them squirm, and mm. well, squirm they did. Oh yeah. Um, what I, but it's funny you it's funny you bring that kind of thing up because he was on he was on the Pat McAfee show earlier earlier today to um. To basically lam to basically lambast um, the of- the officials for this whole taunting controversy that's been going on during the preseason. And oh I, God! I can't, dis- I can't disagree with him, but I get the f- I get the feeling that he that he um he's in the mindset right now where he thinks he's got fuck you money. Oh, I don't see who um no Rogers, I believe. Aaron Rodgers. Well, he's. I'm pretty sure he had fuck you money for years now. He's had fuck you money for years, but still. Oh yeah. You know that. You know that meme where the guy's looking at the the woman in the red dress and the, that lady's pissed off. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy is Rodgers. The lady in the red dress is the Broncos, and the pissed off chick is the Packers. The thing. The thing from <clears throat> Aaron did Rod. The big uh, bad habit that the Packers have had for the longest time is that is that Coke at the big game. There's there is the whole thing at, of of cho- of being consistent chokers, but one of their bigger problems um, is the is the fact that they are extremely hesitant to spend money on free agents. Oh their yeah, idea, they went on a spending is, spree. They went on a spending spree, but as we've as we've established in the past, throwing money around doesn't really work. Yeah, really. Throwing money smartly is what works. Mm-hmm. And just look at LA. I mean, throwing money around willy nilly. Just look at LA. No, yep. all the, all they all they got was a Mickey Man. All they got was a Mickey Mouse World Series went out out of it. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to when it comes to the when it comes to the when it comes to the Packers, um, because of I'd say because of that. Because of that whole throwing money around that they that they did, they might they um might be in trouble. Ooh, are they? Did they go over the cap? They're they managed to get under the cap, but they're dangerously close. Uh oh. So you th- so so pack. So there's two things in their future: Rogers fucking off and cap hell. That's that that's a double whammy right there. Which, yeah, you know what? That's cool. This is jerk off material for us Bears fans, and for and for Vikings fans. Um, yeah, but you know how you know how I said you know how I said before that um te- that for teams like the for teams like the ste- for teams like the Steelers and and for the Giants this is a this they are in last chance territory. The this is the last chance to loom for the Packers. Yeah, because if the, if you blow it, the Bears are gonna. And and fields and fields start develops the way way we hoped. Uh, let's just say I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a happy Bears fan for the next five years. Mm-hmm. So 
Next, it's time for me to start drinking. Oh, yes. So Here we go. You know what it's time for, folks. Since we're at, we're at the Vikings, it's time to rise for our drinking anthem. Where's my liquor? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Now, unf now, um, I know, I know that there, I know that there's been talk, I know that there's been a whole lot of talk and drama about about who's getting the vaccine and who isn't. I'll be honest, that is a nothing burger. Focusing, focusing on that is not focusing on the, on the, on the real, pr on the real problem. Um, the. I do, I do think that it's going to be quite a blow the, of the on the fact that um, Irv Smith Jr. is not co is not coming in for is not expected to come in for the 2021 season. Oh, and the okay. So sorry, missed the beginning here. Uh, I had a phone call, but um, so tell me, are the Vikings fucked right now because of the fact that they extended Mike Zimmer? Yes. They're oh Jesus Christ! They really think Kirk family member is going to take him to that bar to that that great barbecue. Cousins is a problem, but Zimmer's the bigger problem. Oh yeah, he is the big pro. He is what he is one of the he is one of the the big the um the big problem when it comes to the Vikings is that they've been they've always been very very good at building solid defenses. But when it uh -huh. comes to actually, when it comes to actually bring in offenses that produce, Zimmer is somewhat out of his element. He's a defensive-minded coach. And so basically, just like how, just how how most 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 uh, Bears Bears teams have, have been over the over the past past century, up until recently, of course. Mm -hmm. The when it comes to when it comes to it. I don't have I, I don't have I don't have a whole lot of optimism because, uh, because these days um, the NFL has the NFL in the last few years has very much pivoted towards offensive minded um tactics. Yeah, it's been yeah it's more yeah it's more like a it's more of a running gun league and, that, and we're talking both passing and running. Mm -hmm. That's not to say defenses don't play a role, but the more successful teams have a very have a very good run and gun tactics. Yeah, and, like um, I said, and very all purpose quarterbacks. Whereas the big problem with Cousins is that he's he's going to live and die on your scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I mean. I mean, the good the good news is the Bears have learned have have learned from this. Now the Vikings, they have they haven't come around yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't see them coming around until until um until they get until Zimmer is out. Yeah, Zimmer got so it's go. gonna be a while. Yeah, so I'm yeah I'm much much like with the Wild, which we will cover which we will cover in a few weeks. Um, I am prepared for I am in the position of going. Yep, I'm ready. I am ready to suffer again. Oh God! I hope, I hope you got a lot of liquor in that cabinet. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of pain, let's talk about the NFC oh, South. Oh God! Oh. The division of pain. Where's my liquor? And we start. Yep. We start off with the team that is currently getting a docu series thanks to Secret Base, the Falcons. What? We have to. I Yep. The definition of insanity is insanity is doing the exact uh, same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. I think it is very telling that when when the when Tree did the debriefing for um for the Falcons, he opened it with. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Yep. Because they, the Falcons last year were the choke de la choke. Yeah. You had, you had like you had like four or so games where they had a 
point seven percent win probability, and they blew it. At joke the quarter. Hey, yeah, joke. I swear to God, it's like, it's like, uh, who's who chokes even even worse, the Falcons or Angela White? Yes. Jesus, that's a good question. <laughs> yes. But the, th- but the thing with the the big, I'd say I'd say the I'd say the big pro- I'd say the big problem is they're still they still have the mindset of Dan Quinn, and I'd say an even bigger problem. Oh is yeah. That they um they are tr- they are trying so hard to forget that twenty eight to three happened, but I think they're still haunted by it. Yeah, I think I think here's the problem with the Falcons is this. You're going to be paying for the sins of Dan Quinn for the next few seasons. And I um we need So, to, we need to... if I so so if I were Atlanta, you might as well hire Angela White as your coach. <laughs> or fuck, do what the Browns were considering and hire Condoleezza Rice. Oh dear god. I I want that bitch in my city. Uh, thank God Cleveland never went with that. Mm -hmm. They'll never hear the end of it. Um, as far as the Falcons, they're not, it's not even a question about whether or not they're making, they're making the playoffs. They're dwelling the basement this season. Get, yeah, for sure. Get back, get back in the basement. Um, (laughs) now next we get the, next we go with the Panthers. Who, uh, the Carolina Black Panther. Who were, who, um. Helped contribute to one of the greatest troll jobs on ES at ESPN's expense during the crack and <laughs> expansion draft. Oh boy. Yeah, they yeah they um they they ended up they ended up during the, they ended up confusing the the um the the Panthers with the Hurricanes. Oh dear God. Like somebody, somebody on ESPN called the Hurricanes the Carolina Panthers, and the Twitter accounts for the pa- for the Panthers and the Hurricanes decided to um, swap colors on their. Rolling! Oh God, Hurricanes, Hurricanes, <laughs> man! I bet you bet wasn't even pleased. <laughs> We're not the pa- We're not the Panthers. We're the Hurricanes. Come, but either way, come to both of our games. Go to our games. When it comes to the Panthers, they have they have been, they have been in a they've been in a slow recovery, but um, I don't think I don't think that they're good enough to really go to really go anywhere yet. Yeah, they're mediocre. They're still they're still they're 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 still grow. They still got a lot of growing up to do. They're a young team. Mm-hmm. I could I can see them going far in three years, but they're a little bit ahead of schedule right now. That's which is good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you're gonna yeah. At the at the very at the very at the very least, they do seem to be making the right moves. Mm-hmm. But it's a case of you got you've got to stay the course and don't um don't develop any kind of FOMO this season. Otherwise, you're gonna screw yeah. you're going to screw your um rebuild before it has a chance to finish. Yeah, the pan- yeah the pan yeah the Panthers just got paint paint for the sins of of the previous regime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, hopefully they're able I to mean, get rid of that statue. I mean that I mean the new the me I mean I mean new new ownership does work wonders. Mm-hmm. But then we get the Saints. Um, well, Breezes Jesus has unfortunately left. So what's well, so what's left, huh? Oh, that. Oh, that. What's that I hear? God damn it, Jameis. This Jesus, be... he's working overtime and double time, isn't he? He's tra- he's yep. Tra- I guess he's. I guess he's trying to get as many as he can for when Mardi Gras happens, because th- because that shit's gonna be packed. That yeah. and those 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 turnovers do soak up that alcohol. Hmm. Now the question here is: I've been hearing he's improved. I've heard, but um, for for me, this is for me, this is going to be a prove it year for um for Jameis Winston. Oh, absolutely. He's mm-hmm. certain the big the 
the big question is what is whether or not he's been able to wean himself out of out of that high risk attitude that he had in Tampa. Yeah. Oh God. Now I hope he I hope for his sake he does well, but then again, if he doesn't hmm, we'll be hearing a lot of that this season, mm -hmm. if that's the case. God damn it! Stop turning over the ball. <laughs> but um, but I I do not I. The Saints are an exercise in frustration because they end because they end up being repeat disappointments. Then they end up getting your hopes up once in a while, and then back to disappointment. They're like the Packers in a way. And the the big the big problem that they're going to have is. They have is the fact that they have a l with the departure of with the departure of Breezes Christ, they have a lot of dead cap. Oh boy! Like, let me t let me t um also 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 um er earlier today they uh they released Murray. Apparently the backup is going to be Tony Do Tony Jones Jr. So good luck. Yeah. Um. But there's 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 going to be a whole there's going to be a whole lot of un a whole lot of uncertain a lot of uncertainty. Um. Appar apparently apparently the reason why um why Le why El Murray decided to decided to leave, they asked him they asked him to do a pay cut and he said fuck off. Nope. I want that I want that dollar dollar bill. And they can't they Fuck can't you, float please. it. There's a lot of dead Simple. cap. Good fellas. Fuck you. Pay me. Now I know so, I know some people I know some people are gonna be are gonna say are gonna be rooting for them because because New Orleans <laughs> needs some needs some good news after Hurricane Ida, but I don't see the Saints doing it. Well, here's the deal. I I Nah, if anything, if anyone needs help, it's New York because I think I I just I think I just sort of spared it. It's not like fucking Katrina, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But good luck, Saints. You'll need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now. The, now that brings us to that brings us to the first order of the NFC. Oh, the Tom Brady Buccaneers. Jesus Christ, this guy's fucking bionic. Yep, he's back. Everybody's back, especially this guy. Enough from the clown. Jesus Christ, Anto. I was the deep in the draft. I was debating drafting Antonio Brown. Someone did before I could, but there was a part of me that went, Jesus, it, the clown, the clown. It's a tempting mistress, isn't it? It is. It is. The, he's the, that good. What, when he's on point and off out of it with, with his head out of his ass, one of the best running backs in the league. Problem is, his head is always up his own ass. To be fair, exactly. To be fair, Antonio Clown hasn't hasn't done hasn't um done a whole lot of fuck ups in um Florida. And I know well, I, you want you know what you want. I think I know why. Tom Tom Brady got Tony Tom Brady got his pimp got got a strong pimp hand. Um, both Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. That's true. They got they got strong pimp hands. I think I think oh, what? you fuck up, you're done. We're gonna make sure you stay done. Exactly. I think there's also I think it's also the reason that even even though he was at one point one of the most hated players in the league, you don't hear you don't hear a lot of shit going down with Indomitian Sue. Oh yeah. Because let's not forget when he when he was with the Lions, he he was He was poison. Widely despised because he was a dirty player. He was I'd say he I I can't. Even, I was gonna say that he was the NFL equivalent to Bill Lambeer, but Bill Lambeer, at the very least, owned being a being a dickbag. Well, the question is, the the Valakun Sue, um, 
is he worse than Vontez Perfect in in some ways, or I'm thinking not really. No, Perfect is still worse. Yeah. But like I said, so there's two things going for the Buccaneers right now. Tom Brady and the pimp hand. <laughs> yep. As long as these two as long as these two things are still in effect, no one's gonna beat them in the NFC. They were st- they um they didn't do a they didn't need to do a whole lot during the draft. Yeah. Um and they um they decide they decided to keep I'd say I'd say the big risk is that is that they decided to go with the notion of keeping the whole band t- together in the off season. Mm-hmm. Um, I appreciate uh, which is certainly appreciative, but um, make sure you make sure you plan for the inevitable decline. You don't want to be the yep. LA Kings after their after their um, Stanley Cup run. Oh yeah, like I said, even the first order collapsed. Mm-hmm. It, it it I think. And I didn't watch the sequel because I was a dumpster fire. But from what from from the bits and pieces I heard, didn't didn't that first order implode? Basically, they they just they just couldn't get any they just couldn't get any momentum. Yeah, it wasn't a bang; it was a whimper. Yeah, and I think that could be that's going to be how their 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 run ends, especially if Brady when Brady inevitably retires. Hopefully, by not hope hopefully he doesn't retire. Hopefully, uh, his retirement doesn't come when he's at age sixty. Mm-hmm. Either either way, um, it was easy for me to it was easy for me to hate on Brady, but given but given all given all that he's accomplished, I can't I can't anymore. And besides, I still f- after Jameis af- after after they had a turn turnover problem with Jameis. Come on, they they, they were owed this. Especially when you had Jameis, you had the creamsicles of the seventies, and the first, is, and the first entry into the Hall of Shame. Oh yeah, yeah. So as far as I, as far as the, as far as I'm concerned, this is sort of their 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 luck with Brady is like I think this is the NFL's way of saying we're sorry to to the Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Oh, now now to be to be fair, when it come when it came to when it came to when it came to the when it came to the expansion Buccaneers being the first entry into the Hall of Shame, I with uh, with rare rare ass exceptions, all expansion teams get their ass kicked the first year. Except if you're the Vegas Golden Knights. That was just that a was, fluke, and the exception kind of proves the rule. That was a fluke, and just look at a what whole they've been lot doing of things since. coming together at the same time. Look at what they've been doing yeah. since. They're descending into low cow territory. Oh yeah, they're they're yeah they're 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 becoming choke artists. That's not oh, good. Oh yes, they are, sir. Yes, they are. Well, not not just choke artists, but they pissed off the go- they pissed off the gods. Oh the yeah, you do, you do not anger the hockey gods. Mm. You will be smited. But but again, good for Bruce Harris. He finally won a damn and Lombardi. You'll probably win another one this season if if a. If the AFC doesn't come for your blood, mm-hmm. so when it comes to, when it comes to who I see as division winners in the NFC, um, I think I I think um, I think when it comes the NFC East is a, the NFC East is going to be once again the NFC least. It's going to be a toss. It's going to be a toss up. It's tank tank division tank division year two. But if and I think if if um. I think the most likely candidate is go- is going to be New York. Either, no, either way, I'm going Eagles. I, w- I was flipping between New- between um, Eagles and Eagles and Giants. Either way, whoever en- whoever ends up get whoever ends up getting the division is get is going to get their ass kicked in the first round. Yeah, because the reason I say Eagles is like Danny Dimes is gonna is gonna blow it. I have no faith. I have zero faith in Danny Dimes. Um, as far as the NFC West goes, I am. I am. Think, I am thinking. It, I'm thinking it's go- once again. This is one of those toss ups. It could either be the Rams or the um, or the or the Niners. I'm taking Niners. I don't trust that Patford. And as far as far as the North, it's going to be Packers. 
Well, it, 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 well it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend if uh, Rodgers or if whether or not Rodgers is going to be a big baby this season. If if we if 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 we get baby Aaron Rodgers, then it's going to be the Bears. If we get pissed off Aaron Rodgers, it's going to be the Packers. Agreed. Oh, um, just I don't want I I um I don't want to I don't want to see the I want to see another Bears Saints game on all nicked up or so, or whatever. I I really hope that was just a one time deal. I hope so. Um. Now, when it comes to when it comes to the South, it's going to be the Buccaneers. They're going to be lording over that division. I'm going to say the Falcons because they break. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> on, really? I was about to say. Um, as far as far as as far as wild cards go, um. Oh, that's going to be a tough call. I'd say I'd say I'd say it's I'd I'd say there's a there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of toss ups for the division, but I'd say one I'd say one of the wild there's, cards. There's, if there's three, there's three wild card spots this time, right? Not to my knowledge, unless the, unless that changed. I think there's going to be three wild. I think there's three wild. Hold on, let me check the uh, AFC preview because 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 um because you're an tree. There was like. There's like three wild card spots that are that that that's open. Hold on, let me check. Let me go back no, here. Yeah, there yep, is. there's three wild cards. Yep. So, with that means that means you could potentially have one wild card for for three out of for three out of the four divisions. Okay, I'm gonna put it to you this way: it ain't gonna be anywhere from tank division. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah. Um, I'm think I'm thinking. I'm thinking one of them is one of them is going to be Rams. Um, one of them. I say is, another one is going to be the Browns. That's, AFC. That's, that's AFC. We're talking NFC. As far as oh, as far as oh, NFC, oh. Um, I think one of the wild cards is go, is going to be Rams. Um, I think the I think the second one is pro, is probably going to be um, either Panthers or Saints. And I'd say the I'd say the third one is going to be is going to be either Bears or um, Vikings. I would say Bears because I have a because fe- their off their offense scheme it they don't have kiss and tees and their O line isn't a turnstile so I think they'll they'll get a wild card spot and and this will be but I don't think they're gonna get far they're gonna get one and done but this is gonna be an opportunity for uh but this but this is good you want to know why I say this is good if the Bears get in and and they get this one and done opportunity shoot Justin Fields getting playoff experience. Having playoff experience in your rookie season, it will do wonders for you in the long run, especially if, especially if you're if you're developed right. I can I can certainly go with that. Um, when it comes to the AFC, who do you who do you guys see as the uh, wild cards? Okay, let's 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 see here. Yeah. Okay, wow. this is going to be a tough one. Uh, I think the Browns are going to win that division, but I do see the Ravens. Dolphins, oh boy, uh, maybe Chargers. <laughs> you sure about that? That's some avant-garde shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't trust the Steelers. No one should at this point. If the Steelers weren't a dumpster fire, I would pick them over the Chargers, but no. Like I said, some avant-garde shit. Yeah, but you know what? Go ahead. Better yet, just for funsies, I'll switch the charge with the Raiders. How about that? That that'll it'll, it'll certainly invo- it'll certainly give us some more chaos. Yeah, like I said, they're the they're they're the joke. They're pretty much the Joker card of the uh of 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 that of that <laughs> conference. Mm-hmm. Now. But even with that, this is this is most definitely going to be an interesting season. Yeah, NFC not so much. Oh, because unless someone unless there's an upset with uh, unless someone upsets Tom Brady, you know they're gonna win that. You know they're gonna win that conference. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But we are we are seeing we are seeing a. A, um, tr- a bit of a bit of a transfer when it comes to narratives 
the big the big que the big question is what is what the new narrative is going to be once once we hit January time. Um, I know, th although um, although all all that could be for naught if the NFL does d um keeps getting in their own damn way. Oh yeah, you know Goodell, he loves doing that. And I'm sp I'm specifically referring to things like the taunting thing. It it um, reminds oh, me, it God. reminds me about every everything that I hate about the unwritten rules bullshit in baseball. This is this is base this is basically end zone celebration ban 2.0. Especially especially given that since you're still having referees use judgment calls, what could be considered taunting may not it may not even be as such. Yeah, really. They who knows that 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 referee might might be betting on the game for all you know. Or or the or the Napoleon complex like some of the refs that um Yeah, they got yeah, probably got a uh... What's that? What's the what's the name of that? And oh, uh, something. They, yeah, they got Crawford syndrome. Remember, remember all the re remember all the refs that absolutely hated refing for Wallace in the NBA. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. Which one, Ben or, or Ben or Rashid? Rashid. Oh. Oh. But that is that is that is going to do it for this particular episode of the Men Who Stare at Sports Ball. I do sincerely look forward to seeing how how many of our hot takes end up end up jinxing in five months. Oh boy, <laughs> you know like they always do. They, yeah, probably yeah, I'm probably jinxing people. At the very at the very least, I can count on the fact that I'm not going to see the Vikings in a Super Bowl. Oh, condolences, man! Condolences. As a, as a fan of as a fan of sports in Minnesota, I am used to pain. But there, but of course, there's gonna there's gonna be some there's gonna be some fun stuff. Tomorrow's gonna be a doubleheader, as I mentioned on Sunday, and I've and I've got a few more surprises coming coming down the pipe. Yeah. But on, so um, go ahead. Well, before we go, uh. Mind if I mind if I plug 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 the tent? Go ahead, go ahead. Anybody who's got anybody who's got plugs, plug them now. All right, don't forget Thursday night at nine central. Another edition of the Shogun's Tent, in which our main event this week will be. Remember, remember, I was talking about Schrodinger's High School. We're gonna be we're gonna be jumping into that rabbit hole with uh, Bishop Sycamore. <laughs> mm -hmm. be it's gonna be an exciting one, mm -hmm. and of course we get we'll get we'll we'll put evil hat to the sword and a lot of other fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know I know that thir I know that um, Thursday, Maddie, you've got the WrestleCast, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be co you're gonna be spending a ch good chunk of it covering all. Out. Friday Friday is gonna be a very. Yeah, we all out all the news, and there's still dynamite. Oh yeah, there's which, there's the Fallout show from Dynamite. Which, by the way, one of the big shows. Well, Friday of uh, through uh, Wednesday, Minoru Suzuki versus John Moxley. That's a thing. Oh shit! Here we go. Murder Grandpa and AEW. The in the entrance the entrance alone thing. for it is going to be worth the price of admission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since Minoru Suzuki has has, in my opinion, one of the one of the greatest entrances of anybody, um, currently working. But with all with all that said, so until then, on behalf of the good brothers present and not present, my name is Mildra. I am your gaming monk. Stay fucking frosty, everybody. <laughs>